damn it. More fighting. Noises coming from the catacombs, it seems. I shall sink you a song. One, two, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. So, noise is coming from here. Not a soul. Strange. Doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. Louis de Corentin died on the day of Saint Zoetham's remembrance. Hmm, noises started right around then. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. None worth their salt would have left this. Here lies Margot de Quarantin. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Tomb. Impossible. Ah! Mm, something's not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some... Dwarf! Disgusting Indeed. Far better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrate, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging for misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. 
once, damn it, and as a jest. How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lebioda? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some 500 times? Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My families, the decorant towns. Are you illiterate? True. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so, and I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive! It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death! They murdered you for your debts! I had nothing to do with it! Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play for coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! Heretic, shut your mouth! I shall speak to you no more! No, no, it is I who shall speak to you no more, you old tart! I shall speak to no one as long as she is in here. Take her away. My apologies, but I'm simply not in the mood. I see you fell for that pious tart driven drat. Ah, oh, well, then listen. I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. Deeper in the catacombs. Right, let's go.
Private chamber. The right honorable members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. This is it. Better to die of drink than of boredom. You gents also looking for that Gwent club? What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're the plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads. <sighs> if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Right. High time Margo paid up.
done. Now where you got those cards? Leaf the city through the Cooper's Gate. Then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden, beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punt has bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Nope. Just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like skewered pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Thanks. Cheers, how did you? In need of anything? Mind if I glance at your stock?
Seer. Beauclair, all's right and fair. Huh? Exhibition of the Reginald Dog remains nice to remain closed until further notice. Closed? Why, we wrote an entire day to see it. Bang your and sir. wine. As we paid for the coin for the tickets. Give it back. Yep. Please disperse. The exhibition is closed. What's this about? Oh, Lapiot, to give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Here it is! Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must, as long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Oh my god, it must.
worry, Reginald. Don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. It will all work. And out here, it's wine, wine, and more wine. But me, mm. I prefer bread. Kiss a dog's ass. Watching your flinty height. Keep calm. Start no brawls. Sign must be the house. Medallion's humming. Something's not quite right. Need to go around. Not here.
just like she said. And the Gwent cards, as promised. Late 